The effect of fishing usually cascades down the food web and can be acknowledged in other species which are not directly targeted by the fisheries. My main research focus at the moment is investigating the changes in uh, structure and functioning of, um, of uh, continental shelf ecosystems and how they respond to uh, um, climate warming and fishing pressure. And this is aligned with, the m with most of the terms of reference of the working group Comida. The traffic connectivity is a component of marine connectivity which is driven by species foraging. So as the species forage, they need to move, and, uh, and as they move, they contribute to the fluxes of uh, organic matter, of energy, and also of nutrients. This is very important for some ecosystems, which are heavily dependent on outside subsidies. When studying the effect of uh, fishing pressure on marine communities, of course, the species which are uh, most affected by by fishing are those directly targeted by the fisheries. But um, what we've seen is that uh, these are not the only ones. Uh, and the effect of fishing usually cascades down the food web and can be acknowledged in other species which are not directly targeted by the fisheries, but indirectly affected by them. And what we've seen is that in ecosystems that are under strong fishing pressure, uh, the mean trophic level of the communities uh, usually decreases because fishing uh, commonly targets the largest fish and the top predators in the community, so it erodes the, the food webs from uh, top to down. We believe that there might be some synergies between uh, climate warming and fishing pressure, and actually disentangling these two is one of our main research lines at the moment. And to do so, to investigate or to try to disentangle these two effects, we are using um, a series of traits, uh, life history traits, ecological traits, and also um, traits derived from a network topology, and a long-term uh, monitoring series that come from the ISIS uh, bottom trawl service. 